This is an example of external validity that's a little more nuanced, but often very important to think about in reality. So in this example, imagine you work for the Missouri state government and you're interested in possibly expanding subsidies for people to go to college. So that's what you're interested in. Uh, we won't worry about how these subsidies are implemented, um, but thinking about the costs and benefits, the costs are relatively simple. It's just how much money will you spend on the additional subsidies. The benefits are more difficult to learn about because we're interested in the causal effect of uh, the subsidies. And we'll simplify it even further. Just think about the causal effects of going to college on some other outcome like future earnings. So imagine, amazingly, you actually find a research study from Missouri, so same place, and it's very recent, so it's the same setting, the same population. Those are not our concerns for external validity here. Um, and imagine it's internally valid, they get the, the real causal effect. Um, imagine maybe it's a difference in differences, so it's the average treatment effect on the treated. So what does that mean in this case? Well, let's imagine we have you know, different individuals in our society here, and we line them up based on sort of how likely they are to go to college, depending on how much uh, subsidy there is. So maybe currently, this is the dividing line where people on the right do end up going to college and the people on the left currently do not. So the average treatment effect on the treated would be the average treatment effect for this group on the right who currently in our universe do go to college, which is the, the treatment in this case. So the study you found is getting the causal effect for that group on the right. But if we think about what is the policy that we're actually considering here, or considering expanding the college subsidy, and then what we want to know is what will be the benefit, the causal effect on future earnings for the individuals who are actually affected by this expanded subsidy. So if we move, if we expand the subsidy, that'll help more people go to college. So maybe it'll move our line down here. So these people at the bottom, even with the bigger subsidy, I mean, they still don't go to college. Um, but these in the middle are the ones who are actually affected by this potential policy of expanding the subsidy. So that is the subpopulation that we're interested in. This is our population of interest population of 
interest. But if you remember in the study that got the ATT, it was looking at this population studied over here. So in this case, even though they're both in Missouri, they're basically the same time, uh, we can still have this potential for a threat to external validity when the population studied is different than the population that would be affected by the policy change, uh, which is our population of interest.